the whole assembly of the Israelites gathered at Shiloh and set up the tent of meeting there. The country was brought under their control, but there were still seven Israelite tribes who had not yet received their inheritance. So Joshua said to the Israelites, How long will you wait before you begin to take possession of the land that the Lord the God of your ancestors has given you? Appoint three men from each tribe. I will send them out to make a survey of the land and to write a description of it according to the inheritance of each. Then they will return to me. You are to divide the land into seven parts. Judah is to remain in its territory on the south, and the tribes of Joseph in their territory on the north. After you have written descriptions of the seven parts of the land, bring them here to me, and I will cast lots for you in the presence of the Lord our God. The Levites, however, do not get a portion among you, because the priestly service of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have already received their inheritance on the east side of the Jordan. Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it to them. As the men started on their way to map out the land, Joshua instructed them, Go and make a survey of the land, and write a description of it. Then return to me, and I will cast lots for you here at Shiloh in the presence of the Lord. So the men left and went through the land. They wrote its description on a scroll, town by town, in seven parts and returned to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. Joshua then cast lots for them in Shiloh, in the presence of the Lord, and there he distributed the land to the Israelites according to their tribal divisions. The first lot came up for the tribe of Benjamin, according to its clans. Their allotted territory lay between the tribes of Judah and Joseph. On the north side, their boundary began at the Jordan, past the northern slope of Jericho, and headed west into the hill country, coming out at the wilderness of Beth Aven. From there, it crossed to the south slope of Luz, that is Bethel, and went down to Ataroth Adar, on the hill south of lower Beth Horon. From the hill facing Beth Horon on the south, the boundary turned south along the western side and came out at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, a town of the people of Judah. This was the western side. The southern side began at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim on the west and the boundary came out at the spring of the waters of Nephtoah. The boundary went down to the foot of the hill, facing the valley of Ben-Hinnom, north of the valley of Rephaim. It continued down to Hinnom Valley, along the southern slope of the Jebusite city, and so to en -Rogel. It then curved north, went to En-Shemesh, continued to Gililoth, which faces the pass of Adumim, and ran down to the stone of Bohan, son of Reuben. It continued to the northern slope of Beth Araba, and on down into the Araba. It then went to the northern slope of Beth Hogla, and came out at the northern bay of the Dead Sea, at the mouth of the Jordan in the south. This was the southern boundary. The Jordan formed the boundary on the eastern side. These were the boundaries that marked out the inheritance of the clans of Benjamin on all sides. The tribe of Benjamin, according to its clans, had the following towns. Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Keziz, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Ara, Ofra, Kephar Amoni, Ochni, and Geba, twelve towns and their villages. Gibeon, Rama, Biroth, Mizpah, Kifira, Moza, Rechem, Irbil, Tarala, Zela, Haelaf, the Jebusite city, that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiria, fourteen towns and their villages. This was the inheritance of Benjamin for its clans.